Alrighty guys, my name is Mandela, I'm going to go from the Garden of Garage, once again, in beautiful Alabama, Aiden Cunningham. Alright, Caden went ahead and purchased a console off the website from us, and uh, Caden, here it is. Uh, she's a Trinity, got a one terabyte drive in an Ace V3, okay? Uh, she's up in the line servers, along with 10 day trials of Purge, you got BO2, MW3, and Ghost All Posts, and a whole bunch of goodies on the site. Alright, so I'll tell you what, we're going to fire it up. We did your ROL, by the way, okay, just so you can see. All right, we go ahead, and there you go. All right, you wanted red and orange, red and orange with a blue sound. I was like, okay, that's what you got. All right, so there you are. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up right here. That way, then you can see. Hey, Caden, how are you, man? Good to see you, brother. This is yours, okay? So anyway, we boot it up, going into uh, Alliance there. I'm going to get some. We're going to get another notification from the Purge, letting us know it's online, live, and all that other happy nonsense. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through this thing, okay? Now, this is a one terabyte, so it's a, it's a big drive, all right? So anyway, here's what we got here, okay? Under emulators, we've got FCEUX, which happens to be NES, okay? So that's your NES emulator right there, your Game Boy Advance emulator, okay? Your Mega Drive, MAME, your Super Nintendo, and back to NES, all right? Then, of course, we have Xbox Classic Games, all right? And there is a whirlwind of on there, as you can see, okay, uh, yeah, on and on and on, sorry about them not having titles, but that, that's because of, uh, and that's because of FSV and Aurora, they never did any title artwork for that, for those right there, but, um, believe me, they're all there, everything is all there, okay, that's just your classic games right there, alright, and of course you have your homebrew section, where the tools reside, where you can blow the console up, alright, oh, you're welcome, Caden, it's not a problem, thank you for the business, man, I greatly appreciate it, you're saying, you're thanking me, thank you, <laughs> All right, and then of course we have Xbox Live Arcade where we have like a, a billion freaking arcade games, okay? And shit, I mean, anything you want, it's there, okay? I mean, it's it's like, you it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on, 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 okay? It can't keep up, as you can see, okay? So anyway, and there you go. All right. Now, Xbox 360 games, okay? Ah, uh, they're for, wait a minute. Sorry, I have to let the vocal cat out. Um, excuse me. There you go. Bye. Okay, now. Alright, as you can see, we start off with Advanced Warfare. We will work our way through. Okay, as you can see, there is... It's just insane. Um, you know, pretty much everything that you could want is on this thing. Alright, and then some. Alright. Uh, yeah, and that's where we started. Okay, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. All right, now, we'll go to the homebrew section. We will go to the original dashboard. We will go right here. We will hit that and hit that, and you will see that you are up, you're online, and you are live. Okay, I would hope. There you go. Well, again, I, I, I put Heather. i got to change that, okay, but it'll be okay. Got 30 reserve days left. Got it, good. Okay, we'll back out of here, and you will see that it's up, it's online, it's live. All right. And then, just to show you our HUD right here, we go over to uh, this section right here, which is your fifth tab. You can be a two cheats, ghost cheats, model multi three cheats, model multi two cheats, okay? Now look, to disable them, you hit A. Okay, that will disable them. Then to enable them, hit A. All right, now they come enabled right when you start to start the unit up. So, you know, if you want to disable one, if you have like another menu or something, you don't need the off post, you don't have to have it, okay? You disable it right here, all right? So well, anyway, okay, now we'll go back to FSD Dash, all right? <laughs> yes, and the kitchen sink. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yeah, and the pee trap along with the toilet and everything else, Dennis. <laughs> okay, now, look, um, okay, uh, multiple dashboards, you know I put them on here, okay, just to show you where they are, where they're at. Okay, we'll go into Dash Launch, we'll go to Paths, okay, and as you can see, all right, we're using freestyle for the default. Button B will bring you FX menu. Button Y will bring the stock dashboard. Left bumper will bring you Aurora. When this thing is booting up and you get the Xbox logo, you can press and hold one of those buttons, and those are the buttons, button B, L bumper, you know, uh, those are the ones that will start a different a different uh, dashboard for you, all right? Now, if you want to change this out to Aurora, okay, I ship them with freestyle because freestyle is a little simpler. Okay, however, if you want to change it, it's really easy to do. You just highlight default, and then you hit A, 
today once again that will bring you to the root folder okay then you can go down to Aurora right here select Aurora and then go down to the Aurora XCX or FX menu XCX or just leave the stock dashboard or you could leave default blank and it'll boot to the stock dashboard okay it's all up to you all right and we're going to save the dash launch by doing RB bring it down to HDD hitting X to save this and which it will and then we hit D to back out now it's going to reboot and it'll reboot into Aurora now Aurora is already set up too okay so everything is on there already all the titles all the crap it's all done for you all right so that way that you don't have to go crazy looking for artwork and all that crap and setting up the paths and all that stuff all right i want you to play it i don't want you to have to go crazy trying to set it up okay so anyway all right we're going to show all all right now look okay it's so it's almost the same thing as fsd dash just just a couple of different things in the database is a little different all right but all right we hit the back button all right you have your file manager Say so the typical file manager, just like an FSD dash, all right? And then, of course, you have scripts where you can, uh, you know, you can pull up the Aurora repo browser, all that kind of good stuff, all that stuff right there. All right, restart, reboot, and shut down, and we'll back out of here. Now, we'll hit the start button. Okay, the start button will bring you here. All right, that's your assets. So we can download and import, you know, background, whatever, your know, screenshots, whatever you want to do. You got your profile, which you can have auto sign in on this thing. You got your content folder, okay, which is all the stuff where everything is, you know, set up. All right, you got your modules, which is running in the background, dash launch FTP server and Nova. Okay, your language security in the back. All right, now, if you hit the RB button or the LB button, you're going to bring up this context menu down here. All right, to move, just use the D-pad left to right. Okay, there you go, and then just hit A. That'll bring up all your Xbox 360 games, as you can see. All right, uh, Xbox Live Arcade. Your homebrew section, your classic games, your indie games, emulators, and back to show all which is everything that's on the hard drive. All right, so there'd be pretty easy. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to set this back to FSD. All right, and you can set it up any which way you want to. Okay, so we'll go back into Dash Launch. All right. Now, what we'll do is we'll go to Paths, and then we'll go to Default, and we're going to change this, Double Dot Folder, bring this to Freestyle, click on that, click on Default.xex, then we're going to hit RB, bring it down to HPD, X to save it, bring it back out, pretty easy, and it'll bring us back to FSD Dash, alright? Then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to also show you the off host on BO2 because uh, BO2 also has uh, Jiggy and Sentinel put on there, those are GSC menus, but the all post is the same for all the other all, all the other uh, BO2 series, so the same controls, alright, so, you know, I'm going to demonstrate this in BO2, so let me sign in real quick right here, alright, there we go, okay, and then we'll go to uh, Xbox 360 games, alright, and we will find BO2, which should be right here, good, okay, and we'll start that up, and we'll hit that, okay? And be it, there's no special way to start it, just start it up, okay? All posts, as I've explained before, D-pad left to open the menu, X to select, B to back out, and D-pad left to close the menu, okay? And really simple all posts, it's, you know, what right I'm mom about, but it works real good, and, uh, you know, I mean, it's pretty easy to set up, okay? So now we're going to hit start. Yeah, we know your dad's dead, okay? There you go, all right? <laughs> Blood pouring out the back of his head. All right, we're going to hit start, all right? I might have to set this up, I'm not sure if I gotta set the server, if I gotta set the game up or not. Yeah, I do. Okay. So anyway, let me set this up here real quick. There we go. Alright, we'll hit that. We'll uh, set up the safe area here. Yeah, and we'll bring that out. Okay. Yes, we want graphic content. Of course we do. We'll go to multiplayer now. Alright. <clears throat> like I said, no special way to start it. Just start it up and go. Alright, it'll automatically load all the cheats and everything else that you need, including the bypasses and all that crap, okay? Now we'll go down to local, alright, and what we'll do is we'll set up the box, we'll do 9, yep, there we go, alright, we'll start the match, now I'm going to start off with Jiggy, hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, that'll open up Jiggy, okay, you can use A to select, X to back out, alright, and then the all post, like I said, D-pad left, to open the menu, X to select, B to back out, D-pad left to close the menu, pretty easy, alright, well, we'll start, we'll start off the game, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here, okay, and we'll select some goodies from Jiggy. Alright, well, anyway, once you pick your weapon, all bets are off. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. Got a gun, 
Hold in left trigger, push down on the left thumbstick, there you go. We'll go to main mods and we'll do quick mods on it. That way that it gives us what we need. And then we'll back out of here by hitting X. We'll go down over here, we'll go to bullets. Then we'll add some uh, salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder right here. There you go. Okay, yeah, that'll work, okay? We'll get this cooking oregano, all right? Now we'll back out of there. All right, we'll back out of here. Okay, and now what we will do is we'll go ahead. You pad left to open, you all go through, you go. That's the select. We'll grab all this stuff right here, okay? Yeah, all right? And then we'll open up this Rex, grab all of this, we'll do on screen, then we'll do visible warning, proximity warning, and target details. ESP menu, we'll turn that on, we'll do pyramids, distance, weapon, snap lines, all right? We'll back out of here, we'll back out of here, and then we'll leave these left, okay? Then, once the snap lines turn blue, let them have it. Uh, pretty much, yeah, that's how you let it happen. But the blue bug is everywhere. We fly through the air because we have Jiggy enabled. And then we can just start like shooting everything and everything in sight, okay? And it pretty much works real good, as you can see, okay? Now, if you want to, we can go to Aimbot, we can go to Unfair Aimbot, and then we can just shoot all some buildings and everything, and pretty much piss off the entire lot, okay? So, we'll get out of there, we'll get out of there, and as you can see, there you go, works fine, okay? That's how we play. Okay, then what I'm going to do is now I'm going to show you uh, zombies more, okay? Uh, zombies, are little, it's the same thing, just a little different, okay? Hold in left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick. You use X to select, hold in the left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick, and back out of it, okay? Works easy, all right? So then we'll back out of here now. Yes, we'll leave the lobby. We'll back out of here and we'll go right to zombies, okay? Which we can do. Now, what's going to happen is, is now we're going to load up zombies, all right? And uh, we're going to do transit. Okay, so we'll do a local game here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. We'll grab hold of that. We'll click that. Transit. Original. Start the match. Okay? Like I said, hold it on the left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick. That will enable the zombies menu. You'll see the instructions pop up over here. Alright, you should anyway. As long as I put the damn menu in there. Okay. <laughs> what you think I did? In fact, I, I really do think I did. Yeah, I did. See? Okay. Alright, so anyway, holding left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick, there it is. Okay, then we'll hit X to select. We'll use God mode into the ammo. Working in the dark spring, is running all, but two, I like being able no to clip, see what I'm killing. And then we'll toggle in by. Okay, now we'll hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, that'll bring us back. And we'll choose the weapons menu. And then we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, let's see here, we can, uh, we can use... This one right here. Oh, yeah, go. What's okay? next? A nice soon. Yeah. We'll do that, and as you can see, they're coming in. Not more. Okay? Because they're all freaking dead. You can have a fully automatic RPG that destroys everything and anything that's in the vicinity. Okay? So, anyway, we'll get out of there now. Alright? Now, if you want to, you can, you know, as I said, it, it, it's got everything on it. Okay? You got models menu, fun menu, forge menu, zombies menu, power ups menu, rounds menu, teleport menu, map mods. Lobby mods, game settings, menu settings, players menu, all players menu, and you know, back and forth from mods. So there you go, you know, and everything pretty much works for Bitch! Get out of my face! Okay? There you go. So anyway, pretty easy, okay? So, and then to close the menu, like I said, just hold in left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, that will close it. Alright, if you're in a sub menu, it'll bring it back to the main menu, and then you close it out from there. Alright? So anyway, we're done there. Now, bring that back, boom, take care of that. Okay. Now, here's the deal here, okay? I'm going to show you how to set this up on your network for the first time, okay? Now, this is important. Please listen to what I'm telling you. Otherwise, you're going to rip your hair out, and I don't want to see you do that. Okay, I really don't, okay? So, we're going to get this up on the network for the first time, and this is what I'm going to have you do, all right? Look, we're going to power the system off, okay? Now, all right, it's really easy. You plug it all in and get it ready to go, right? Take the drive door off, all right? Pull on the tab and pull the hard drive out. All right, now, hard drive's out, power it on, okay? Now, the system is going to boot, and when it boots, okay, it's going to bring us to the stock dashboard, all right? Now, once we have the stock dashboard up, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into uh, settings, and we're going to go, well, we're going to go system settings and network, okay? So, just follow along, and you're not going to have any special boot to any dashboard or anything like that, because all that stuff is on here, okay? So, we've got the stock dashboard. All right, now, we're going to go up, we're going to go over, go to settings, go to system, go to network settings, okay? Now, on network settings, 
your Wi-Fi is going to scan. It's going to find. It's going to pop up over here. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click on it and you're going to put your password in. Okay. When you do that, it's going to automatically test the Xbox Live connection just like this. And what we want is a check mark on two red X's. Okay. Rather very important to have that. All right. And the reason being is, is if you can't get to your router, then you can't get to the internet, and you're not getting the Xbox Live. Okay. So that check mark is very important. I don't care what these two do. I just care about that one right there. Okay. So just make sure that that's a check mark and two red X's. Once you have that, all right, power the system off. Okay. Then, easy. Make sure it's off. Take the hard drive, slip it back in. You'll see with a click. Take the drive door. Put the drive door on. Pull the power on, on, on the unit. Leave it out for five minutes. Okay. I think you've watched a lot of my videos, so you know the reason why. If you don't do that, you're going to want to put a DNS error. So leave the power out for five minutes. Okay. After five minutes is up, then plug it back in. Okay. Now, the only reason why I can plug it back in is because it's already on my network. So everything should work. Hopefully. All right. You know, I mean, it's crapshoot every time you start up one of these damn things. Okay. So anyway. Once you're done here, okay, and once that's done, after five minutes, plug it back in, power the unit on, okay? Now, what's going to happen is it's going to boot up, okay, and then it's going to bring up the logo. When, it's heat, when you see the logo, okay, and it boots pretty quick, all right? When you see this green stuff stop moving, that means that it locked the server, which is good. Then you hear, you're going to hear the fan speed kick up, all right? Once that kicks up... Then you're going to see it's going to load FSD, and then you're going to see the plugins come across the bottom of the screen, which is what we want. Okay? So there we are. Welcome to Alliance. And then we're going to get one more, and that's going to also run the purge menu for GTA. Alright? And then what we're going to do is we're going to fly on over, and we're going to go right over to Homebrew section right here. Okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to click on that, bring up the Homebrew section. Alright, go to Xbox 360 dashboard, click on that. Alright? And you click on that twice. Now... So you have a square that pops up just like that. That means that we're live, we're on the server, life is great. We have the, we have the DNS, we're good, okay? You got it, good, okay. Select it, good. Now, this is what you can do. You can download your, your, your original profile if you want, but I'm telling you it's an RGH. So, you know, I mean, just being honest with you, anything can happen, and, you know, you paid for everything that's on your profile and all that kind of good stuff, well... You know, you're putting it on a modified bootloader. So, in plain English, what that means is, is you're taking a chance anyway. Alright? My advice to you is this. Go to www.xboxlive.com slash live. Make a profile. Use Outlook for your credentials. Okay? Put your password in. Make your account and everything. Then come back here and download the profile that you made. Make a modest profile. You can always modify your retail profile with very limited possibility of it you know getting banned however though you know i mean it can happen all right but my advice to you is make a modest profile that way then you know you, you have that profile for modding you don't have anything on it so if god forbid something happens guess what you just make another new profile that's it okay so anyway once you once you download it what it's going to look like is this when it signs in okay it's going to twist the little guy around you see the spinning circle of death you can see the login you see the profile login life is great now, in the event that you have a problem downloading the profile, and what I mean is you're at the download screen and showing that it's downloading, but it, it's taking 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, just stop because it's corrupted. It ain't going to work, okay, and you're going to wind up with a mess. So what you're going to do, you're going to back out of that, okay? You back out of where it's downloading. Then you come here, all right? And what we do to fix that is we go up, we go over, we go to settings, we go to system, we go to storage, all right? We highlight the hard drive, okay, and then what we do, we click on it, we go to profiles, and underneath this profile is the profile that you're going to be downloading, okay. What you're going to do is you're going to use D-pad to highlight it, and then you're going to hit A to select it, and then you're going to hit delete, and you can delete that profile right off the hard drive, just get rid of it, all right. Once that's done, back out of here, back out of here, back out of here. Hard drive, hit Y, okay. Now, we're going to clear the system cache, we're going to do it twice because Microsoft likes to see you press buttons a lot. Okay, so that's once, hit Y again, hit A, yes, that's twice, okay, then we're going to back out of here, back out of here, and we're going to go up, we're going to go over, we're going to bring it to social, we're going to bring it down to sign in, sign out, and then you're going to download, re-download the profile, and it will download, and everything will be fine and dandy, okay, once that happens then, hit the guide button, and then go back to Xbox Home, alright, 
Then what I want you to do is once that's done, we have to use a little tool called XM360, all right, which is going to unlock and make sure that the, all your downloadable content and all of the XBLA is unlocked to your profile and to the hard drive. So we go on over to the homebrew section right here. Then what do we do? We click on XM360, hit A, hit it again, okay? Now, what it's doing is it's going to load all the titles and everything. Don't worry about the black screen. It'll go away after a minute or so. It's loading all of the XBLA and all your downloadable content. Now, in the event that you download content from, let's say, a torrent site or something like that, and you want to put it on here, well, you can. You can put it in the content folder, just the way it belongs under the title I did. All right? Once you put it in there, though, you have to come here and unlock it to the console. It has to be hashed properly for it, in order for it to run on the console. If it is not hashed properly, it's not going to show up and it ain't going to be available. Okay, so just remember, when you download XBLA and you download, you know, DLC, you've got to unlock it. Okay, very important. All right? So anyway, here's your XBLA. So it's really easy to unlock. Just go over here. Go to unlock XBLA. Hit A. All right? See, it's already unlocked, so we're good. All right? Then we're going to go to show DLC. It's going to take it a second. It's going to grab all the DLC. There it is. We're going to go over here. We're going to go to Unlock DLC, hit A, alright, and then what it's going to do, it's going to unlock all the downloadable content. See, there, there was 10 files that, were, that weren't unlocked, okay, now they are. Life is good, alright, so we hit OK, and we're good. That's simple. Then what do we do? We exit the dash, and it'll bring it back to FSD, okay? Really easy, alright, that's it. Now, before I turn you loose with this crazy thing, alright, there's two other things that we're going to do, alright, I'm going to show you here, alright? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to emulators, okay? There's our emulators. I'm going to use Game Boy Advance for an example. I'm going to hit A, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit A again. All right, it's going to start the emulator up, okay? There you are. We're going to go to games, all right? There's all the games that are on there already, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to use right trigger to go down page by page, left trigger to go up page by page, D-pad down to go game by game, D-pad up to go game by game, A to play, B to back out. All of them work the same way. Name all of them. Okay, so in plain English, there you go. Once you're done, hit B to go to the main menu, exit Virtual Boy, and now it'll bring you back to FSD. Now, okay, last thing, classic games. Okay, you can't play it with the server on. All right, you, you gotta play in bypass mode. Otherwise, you're gonna get a big black screen when you try to when you try to load the game. All right, like I will give you case in point. All right, we'll start that one up. Yeah, it ain't starting. Okay, because the server's on. Okay. So the only way to run your classic games, all right, is power the system off, okay? And we're going to put it in bypass mode, which is real easy. Power, eject, leave the tray hanging out. Come on. Oh, I hate that when it does that. Jesus, that's enough to make me crazy. I hate that. There we go. Let's try that again. Yeah, that's more like it. Thank you very, very much. Hmm, that was interesting. Me thinks me has to... I just changed your belt on this thing. Eh, I'll change your belt again, just to make sure. But anyway, okay, so leave the tray hanging out. Okay? Now, here you go. Alright, system's booty. Once you get the FSD dash, close the tray. Okay? Then, we can go ahead, hit the guide button, go on over to classic games. Really easy. Okay? Now you can play the game. Watch. Okay? There's our logo. It's going to start up. And then this stupid bro is going to come on here telling us how to drive, wear seatbelts, and don't do what they do. Okay? <laughs> yeah. But we encourage you playing this game because we want to see you wreck cars and everything else. Shut up! Okay. So anyway, there you go. All right. There's the game. That's the original Top 20 game. Okay. From the original Xbox. Start to begin. And there you go. Now I don't want to create an alias. And there you go. And there's the original game. Okay? So pretty much there you go. To stop the game, hit the guide button, Xbox Home, bring it back, yes, boom, done, there you go, it's good, alright, then what you can do, you can play another game, alright, you can play another classic game, when you're done with the classic game, so let's say you want to go back on Xbox Live, alright, well remember, this thing's in bypass mode, so the only plugin that's going to be available is going to be XBM, which lets you connect to it through Xbox, through Xbox Neighborhood or FTP, okay, on your local area network, you're not there now. So if you try to play an Xbox 360 game online, you ain't going to do it with it in bypass mode, all right? So, of course, you have to shut the console down and just restart it normally, and that will bring it up, and you will be online, and then you'll be able to play your regular Xbox 360 games and all the rest of the stuff, okay? So that's how that works, all right? 
So, listen, Caden, thank you very much for your business. I really do appreciate it. Okay, I hope you like the console. Like I said, she's loaded to the gills. Have a blast with it, okay? And we're shipping it out tomorrow, okay? You'll have a tracking number this evening, okay? Once uh, once she puts it in, in the system for shipping out, all right? So listen, thank you once again. I really do appreciate it, all right? And uh, guys, thanks for hanging with me. I greatly do appreciate all of you, all right? And you all have a great day, and I'll holler at you later. And uh, like I said, yeah, I see you down there, Caden. <laughs> listen, thanks again, all right? I really do greatly appreciate it, all right? And you all have a good day. And uh, I've got quite a few more to go. So anyway, you all take it easy and I'll holler at you later, okay? Take care, guys. Have a good one.